What is good, guys? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to talk about the overall price movement for the day. I'm going to go over some dark pool data for AMC for today. I'm going to go over some Ortex data. I'm going to go over some Stonko tracker data for the call options market. And then I'm going to end this video by giving you my price prediction for tomorrow and the near term future for AMC stock. But before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First of all, I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so not take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this not benefits me but benefits the entire community as a whole with that said and done guys let's get on with what i'm going to be talking about and that is the technical analysis so with the technical analysis we can see that amc had this rundown down to the 42 dollar level of support i'm sure you guys remember the 42 that's really 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 good guys because we have support at 42 and looking at the five day chart that's still absolutely huge however we did not just have support at 42 the support ended up going upwards towards the day you could see this upward uh, trend a slight upward trend right over here but after we were at 42 we had this beautiful run up up to 44 dollars and 90 cent range we ended up testing the level of resistance around the 45 i'm sure you guys also remember the resistance at 45 that was a big one for amc we spent a lot of time there but overall we are doing well because this is still up compared to where we were yesterday and last week but overall we did drop down just a couple of times after 11 a.m. Um, after that happened. But the thing you have to remember is we tested this level of support only two times, 43.50. We only touched it two times and we spent the large majority of the day in above the $44 range. And that's a big, big, big sign because AMC is becoming more comfortable in the 44. That's, um, that's close to the mid 40s. And that's still a huge update compared to where we were five days ago. We were still at around the 39. Look at us in the one month chart. You can see AMC was at 28. So we're still up for the one month chart. I know people may be down um, overall if they did invest when it was 60 but i kid you not that will most likely be nothing to worry about pretty soon but before i go into specific details about my prediction let's go over some more pieces of data looking at a bollinger chart you can see where amc closed we closed at 44 dollars 38 a share up over 1.58 percent for the day let's go amc is obviously doing well it's not doing horrible this was a pretty good day in my eyes but overall you can see there were not many significant price movements as the volume was a little bit down but looking at this we did close one standard deviation away from the mean given where amc could have gone but that's still good because we had a pretty good closing uh, once again up over 1.58 percent for the day but this becomes even more significant when you look at something else but overall before i show you the other thing i want to show you look at this right over here you can see a fibonacci retracement sequence right over here and this shows how amc has many many levels of support that were just on this upward trajectory you, you, you could see right over here the support was at 43.45 then we went to 43.58 then it went to around 43.88 and then we closed at 44.38 on this upward trend and that's really really good because amc is setting up itself for possibly a pretty good run for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a tough day as we're going to fight but despite these things going on let's look at some dark pool data before i talk about that let's look at the overall volume so the total volume for amc was 67.5 million for the day and that's a little bit low compared to yesterday as it is thursday that is normal it's nothing to be concerned about but the average volume the average volume was at 94 million so because the average volume was at 94 million we are a little bit down in terms of volume but overall we are green so that's a good sign but this is even more significant when i show you something insane check this out right over here dark pool trades reported for 70 percent of the total volume today over the past 20 days the average volume was 64 percent but today it was 70 percent that is well above the mean that's well above the average and that's absolutely insane 70% of a stock's trades should not be happening off the overall open market. They should not be happening on dark pools because the large majority of dark pool trades do not affect the share price. So there's no telling how much higher AMC could have gone if orders are not being redirected to dark pools, if they're not being traded on dark pools. 70% is more than two thirds and that's exactly why we're fighting guys. It's heavily manipulated. And despite that, it's still green for the day. So. Could this mean that the hedge funds are simply trying to reroute orders from the drug pools to the New York Stock Exchange and try to show AMC going a little bit up? Could it be that they're prepping for a potential fake squeeze? It's possible. They could possibly be doing that to scare you into selling or believing that the squeeze is happening, even if it isn't happening. They could try to get you to sell at $100. That's 
probably what their intention is. That is possible, but I can't promise you that. Also, the buying that has been going on, especially as we are in a bullish cycle, that also plays a big role in it going up, especially if you account for the algos. But overall, guys, it is important to know that 70% of the trades today did happen in the dark pools. Now, looking at some other pieces of data, Matt Kors actually put this on his Twitter eight hours ago, and I think it's important for us to note, this is based off Ortex data. And based off Ortex data, everything that's significant increased. Short interest is up to 17.08%. The utilization is at 92.82%. And the shares alone is at 106.42 million. So that's fantastic fantastic news in my eyes because it just shows that these things fluctuate all the time but overall they're still high and remember about the short interest this is just based off the reported data there are pro it's probably much higher than this much much higher it could be easily past 20 percent or even 25 percent who knows it may even be as high as one entire flow it could be at 30 40 50 percent even much 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 higher but overall based off the data it did go up which shows that amc has not squeezed yet this is not the squeeze yet it's just a key indicator but also you have to remember the utilization at 92.82 percent is a big sign because that makes me even more bullish as it's harder for short sellers to hedge their positions but with that said and done guys i'm going to go over the last two things i want to talk about and that is overall there are less shares available to borrow now compared to before so there are uh, 43,919 calls in the money expiring on September 3rd at the $45 range. So uh, the reason I'm talking about this is September 3rd is tomorrow. You know, Friday is coming up and that is going to be the fight. We have to try to fight above the 45 and I can't promise you we're going to beat it. I can't promise you we're going to be below it. I'm not 110% sure what exactly is going to happen. I'm not a genie or a wizard, but based off the trend, I can give you my stock price prediction. So considering that we're going to be fighting for the 45, I think AMC spent a lot of time around the 40 40 dollar range and it has lots and lots and lots of comfort in that 44 dollar zone so that makes me even more um, prepared for tomorrow because AMC appears to be a lot stronger and ready to actually fight 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 but you do have to account for the 70 percent of trades that did happen on the dark pool today so when that is happening when these dark pool trades are going up it's going to be a fight for tomorrow because of the call options market and many other things because the hedge funds want amc to be lower so for my stock price prediction based off the overall trend considering that we were agreeing the volume may decrease just slightly so i wouldn't be surprised if we do close a little bit in the red because the main goal, the main goal is not to actually close extremely green for tomorrow, it's right, it's to close at a higher level from where we were last week. And that's what I really want to see, because we did close around the 40 last week. I'm not sure if you guys remember that, but remember last Friday, we were just above the 40. And that was a big sign for AMC, because that was the first time in the past month it actually closed above 40 on a Friday. So I definitely believe we're going to close above 40 and a few dollars above that. We should be well above the 42, maybe around the 43. Be you have to remember guys you have to remember that the hedge funds are going to try to bring it down there's going, going to be day traders that try to bring it down and it's just a friday it's just a friday but when you look at the overall trend over the past few days we have been on this upward trajectory i mean look at the one month chart once again the levels of support are going up and amc is set for a nice 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 run but tomorrow is friday and the volume may be a little bit low so i do not expect amc to be green tomorrow i think it might close around the 43 maybe uh i'd say the 43 dollar range maybe around there i do think we have lots and lots of people excited to buy so i do think we're going to close around the 43 I, but don't be surprised if the hedge funds try to bring it really really low so now before you attack me and say wait a minute you're saying amc is red that does not mean i'm bearish on amc i'm still super super bullish for the upcoming weeks it's just that there are going to be times where amc has to stir step its way up it's going to need time to breathe and there are going to be times where it's just slowly going up and this is probably one of those times because if you look at the one month chart amc has been slowly stir stepping its way up and getting comfortable in the next legs so the hedge are going to try to bring it down you know exactly what they're doing guys there's going to be high short volume percentage most likely i can't confirm that yet as the volume the data has not entirely come out yet but once we know that once we know what is happening i do believe it's going to be a fight so tomorrow the fight should be around the 42 43 dollar range that's where i think we're going to close but then for the next week for the upcoming weeks i'm still even more bullish we should should see amc in the 50s or even higher than that but 
I believe we are set for a possible gamma squeeze. I just want to let you guys know and prepare you that there are most likely going to be some red days and there are also going to be lots and lots of green days coming up. So do not just think that AMC is going to be green, 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 green every single day for the next year. That's not how the stock market works. They're going to be green days, they're going to be red days, but you just have to remember the conviction and remain strong. Do not let your emotions get the best of you. So I gave you my prediction for tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys my prediction for next week starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, a more detailed prediction but overall guys i just want to let you guys know that do not give up i do believe we're going to fight tomorrow as it is friday the last day of the week and i am still bullish for amc for next week and the upcoming weeks just do not give up we're going to keep on pushing forward and we never ever quit we are abe strong the squeeze is on the table and we got this guys so thank you so much for listening do not ever give up on your dreams on your hopes and keep on pushing forward thank you and have a great rest of the day peace out